Hello everyone, Bright Express 1993 here. I had a message from a YouTube user, which is Steve the Me 45 from my old account, wanting to know how you install sound drivers in VMware. But this is going to be a video for educational purposes only, a little tutorial to install drivers for Windows 95 and VMware Player. Okay, I just formatted the drive and I just typed it. This is what you're going to do. Make sure you get your Windows 95 disk mounted. Go ahead and put MD Win 95. Then we're going to go ahead and type DIR. And it's already there. Now I'm changing to E. We're going to type CD Win 95. We're going to go ahead and type copy star dot slash. You know, not slash star cop dot star. C colon slash Win 95. The reason I'm doing this is because when you're installing Windows 95 in a on a computer or in a virtual machine sometimes it will not recognize the CD drive and one thing it may can only recognize like by floppy format and I'm using a an old DOS disk to, um, to do Windows 95 install formatting and I mean I'm format the drive. Okay, now when you get to this part, this is what I'm a, what you're going to have to do when you add this setup options section. You're gonna go ahead and you're going to select typical. Hang on a minute. It's asking for my license. Pause it real quick. Okay, now I'm back. Sorry for the, uh, entering my product key. I, I didn't want to give it out. Sorry for that. I had to. You want to enable network adapter and you want to enable sound MIDI or video capture card. Because that's very important when you're setting up hardware for Windows 95 and VMware. Yes, I know. I got to install the. Probably the VMware tools, and we're going to get to that after the video. It's going to go ahead and it's going to analyze the system. We're going to disconnect my floppy drive, my virtual floppy drive on that. for now. So I don't have no messages keep popping up on the screen. And then we'll go ahead and I'll pause. Okay now I'm at this part where this is going to be very important when you're doing Windows Compile. We're going to go and select the second one. Because it because there's going to be certain things that you don't need. Accessibility options, you, 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 will, you don't need that. Here's a trick. If you uncheck accessories, if you want to put everything, put that, you know, have, it'll put a full shade, a full check on everything. Because if it's shaded, that means that parts of of that component is being installed. We're going to get this compression. We're going to get everything in multimedia. No need for Windows messaging because we're going to be using Microsoft Outlook instead. Select no. 
all it's going to do is file copy. So we'll go ahead and we'll stop. Alright, now since we got 95 fully installed, let's see what we can do with the iFinish installing. Try to get that out of the way a bit. So I lost pointer. Sorry. Sorry if I keep moving a cursor around. Let's go ahead and select install VMware tools. And the installer should come up on the screen like no, like no, every every installer would. We're gonna go ahead and click next, and let's do a complete. So we can get the working video drivers. So we can have full working drivers for for video. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your Internet Explorer. Okay. You'll see this coming up on the screen, telling you how to install the driver server. We're going to do is right click, we're going to go em click the empty space at the desktop, go to properties, click on settings. We're going to enable show settings icon on taskbar, advanced properties. It says we're going to go ahead and change the display type. which ones it needs. And I'm just trying to read a little bit. Probably we're gonna go to have disk. I'm gonna change the directory to C. Need to put, fix it to a colon. C drive, program files, VMware, VMware tools, drivers, video, VMware SVGA. We're going to go click OK. Click apply. We're going to click close. We're going to go ahead and we're going to restart the virtual machine. To see what it gives us. Whoops, we have finally got color now. We're going to go, go ahead and uncheck that. Hang on a minute, let me get the sound driver files real quick. Okay, now I finally resume back to, uh, since I was able to get VMware tools install installed successfully. I didn't I just had to reboot while I installed the driver, so I had to drag the files from my main computer into the virtual machine. Okay, you're gonna see the EAPCI 8M ECW. Hang on, let me get it where I could be more comfortable. Show you what you're going to do with the file. You're going to go to, to the C drive, we're going to copy it to Windows. And we're going to find the system folder. Right click, we're going to move here so we can get better support of the driver. I mean, we're going to go ahead 
and install the driver, which is the Sound Blaster PCI 128 setup. Sorry for that, I gotta get a Windows 95 version. I can make it extract it. Hang on a minute. I have to get the updated driver so far. I, the driver you're going to be using is the Sound Blaster PCI 128. And I'm rebooting. I had to get a version that was compatible for Windows 95. But one thing, you will get a BSOD, but press any key to continue because sometimes you gotta make sure you have that file placed in the system folder. Watch, let me go ahead and enter my password. We should get a startup sound. And the unknown device thing is popping up the new hardware found. So before we got a core, we're going to go ahead and we're gonna restart. And it's going to go already recognize the driver now. We should hear when the beautiful startup sound for Windows 95. And you, you would be able to use it in VMware. You just have to accept the license agreement and click the next on the prompt for the installation of the driver. Let's go ahead and listen to that awesome startup sound. Are you ready? That's it. Go. thought the startup sound was about to play. We gotta do another reboot. Sorry for um doing all that rebooting. Probably detecting everything. We should be able to hear a startup sound this time. Let's. I'm just saying. Holy crap! I just heard the startup sound. Pretty cool. Now you can just delete the installers and go ahead and we we'll show you some upgrading we can do with Windows 95. Okay, so those of you are, who are going to install Plus for Windows 95, one thing, do not install Windows Desktop Update, because if you install Windows Desktop Update, it will corrupt desktop themes in Windows 95 Plus. So I'm installing Internet Explorer 5.5 Service Pack 2 first. So I can install Plus for Windows 95. But I gotta install Office 2000 to go with it. And Media Player 7 before doing anything. Because when you install inter upgrade Internet Explorer over it, it'll corrupt desktop themes. I, I installed Plus for Windows 95 first. I did with IE4 with the um, Windows desktop update. And um, it kind of corrupted and I had to replace desktop themes. So, I hope this video helped you guys out. and. Um, if you have any problems, just comment or message me. See ya.